Hey everybody, it's Chainsaw Reacts back once again with another reaction. Today guys, checking out Batwoman Season 1, Episode 6, entitled... I'll be judge, I'll be jury. Hmm. Well, I did hear that a certain character, another uh, villain, called the Executioner, I think that's his actual monogram. I don't, I don't think it's Executioner, it's the Executioner. Anyways, is coming to Gotham. It's pretty exciting. So we, we, we saw him previously in Gotham, the show. But now he is uh, coming to Batwoman. I'm here to see uh, what this interpretation is going to be like versus the Gotham version, which kind of crazy storyline with all that shit with Detective Barnes. I think it was Barnes, yes. But I'm, I'm enjoying Batwoman so far. Uh, it seems like people are enjoying it as well. That last episode was crazy with Alice's backstory. Really, that, was, that was probably, honestly, one of my favorite episodes. Of the show so far? Yeah. I it really was... liked learning... Like, what she went through after... And how the violence. dad just kind of lost his mind trying to take people's faces to fix his sons. And knowing that um, they were so close to finding her. So, like... But we complained. Just a door. But we complained. She didn't just open the door. Yeah, they were so <laughs> close to her. They could have saved her. It was crazy how dark it got. And then, of course, that whole thing where Alice is like... Blah, 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 to her dad and then he approaches her trying to touch her face and stab stab like we knew that was gonna happen um but now that we've kind of set up her origin in a sense but like i'm hoping we see more where we see maybe an older version of her before of course her return her in gotham or whatever and we see how it transformed into her become alice i yeah. hope we see that and uh, i'm guessing her and mouse are gonna be a threat Maybe he's going to be doing some messed up shit, which makes sense to me. So, are you ready? I'm ready. We're ready, guys. Well, let's go. Looks like he's wearing red and black. That woman's colors. Don't make it too obvious, Kate. How many times will it take to get Beth back? That's a good question. Probably not at this point. I think it's too far gone. Symptoms of some of the city's most notorious criminals, such as Jack Napier, otherwise known as the Joker. Channel 9 has What? What? And I believe it's because they called someone else. The police called Batwoman! Who was it this time? Batwoman. Don't you want to know who's behind the mask? Really? <sighs> Is she gonna expose? Kate to her dad. That's disgusting. Ugh. And he loves it. And she loves it. No fucking way. I know, it's TV. <laughs> oh, Do you trust me? I think you'd make an excellent partner. You see the bat signal? That is why I'm here. You know what this means, right? First time the city's called Batwoman for backup means I can't screw it up. It means you're in. Ran out of ice. My dad went out to go get some. Next thing I know, there are two cops at the door. Wanted me to come down and ID the body. That's awful. Lucius Fox did a lot of good for the city. Yeah, so does Dan Hunt. <sighs> I'm surprised they killed him. We put the guy who shot my dad behind bars. <laughs> I bet so many people have told him they're gonna kill him. Yeah, so he's probably he's a, used he's to it. Yeah. Red suits you. It's a trap. Damn. Don't know. It's not impossible. There's no like lines, like no like scars or anything on his face. Are you questioning everything now? Yeah. Jesus, what the hell's that? Something so delicate, harnessing enough power to penetrate the bat suit. No, I tell you. He's using methods of capital punishment to kill his victims. Holy crap! You're her! Yes. Idiot. 
I don't think he's the executioner. No. Whoa! He's right there, I'm missing. Yeah. That's cool. A little too handy, if you ask me. Oh, uh, yeah. Just saying. You worked there. He was their executioner. Then why would he be... And now she's awake. If your dad ever found out about this place, he can't. Do you know who she is? Yeah. Honestly, I don't want to know. I don't need that kind of responsibility. Oh, okay. How convenient. I do know who she is. And that's why she won't let me leave. Why would a guy working at Blackgate target a cop and a prosecutor? They're on the same side. Yeah, I don't know. It's confusing. Can you play some Hulk music while I wait? <laughs> Can you? So if you found this, then you found me again. Anger issues much? You told him to go. You t yeah, you did. It's me. Why did you send Mouse into Hamilton Dynamics to get a weapon that can kill Batwoman? What? Where is he? Your concern for me is so touching, dear sister. What? Who snuck food to you in the middle of the night? You Who did. You rummy and let you sleep with Mr. Pandy? Because your father kidnapped her. Heard you got a visit from Batwoman. More like an ambush. You mean you? Guy Batwoman interfered. Batwoman wouldn't have stepped in if she didn't have a reason. Before you give a shred of credibility to some criminal in a bat costume, let me remind you that Batman destroyed our family's lives. I hoped when it was hard. And you gave just up. Just gave up and put your energy into blaming Batman because it was easy. Hmm. Yep, she's getting out. What's that supposed to mean? I mean, that's what you did to Kate. And then she had to put an entire ocean between you and her. And now you walk around pretend like she meant nothing to you. Damn. You changed the whole bottle? Today. Don't tell my dad about this. Oh, Working later on her. Yes. You have to protect me from it. Go get around the clock protection of Black Kate. Free charge. <laughs> <laughs> He's right. Point. Point. Damn. If that, if that, if that axe would have connected, I guess, yeah. bye-bye Batwoman. Jesus Christ. Show's over. <laughs> God, he's just throwing around like she's nothing. A little rag bell. Yeah. Save your life. Yeah. You telling me Mistake. I don't know. Past the fist. I mean, got it wrong. Yep. Oh shit. That symbol. Let my family die. Dang. Hug time! I don't know, forgiving you need it. Help me forgive myself. Walk away. Right near Wayne Tower. Of course. 
There you have it, guys. Batwoman Season 1, Episode 6. Uh, the ghost, Beyonce, is down here. She's very tired, but what'd you think of the episode? I thought it was good. Good? Not as good as last Amazing, week's. fantastic? Not as good as last week's. Not as good as last week's, but it was still good. Oh, it was still good. I, I like how she finally, like, really said, like, I know, I know you're Batwoman. In a sense. But she's like... But then I think she was about to walk in and tell. Yeah, she was definitely. She was gonna walk in like, "Hey, just letting you know, I know you lost one daughter and she's a villain, but also your other daughter. Yes, you fought her, and all this shit. And yeah, she's a Batwoman. Like, he hates Batman. He blames Batman. So clearly, Batwoman is like a, rem a reminder. Yeah. So of course he's gonna like, I hate you. So I think the dad would break at that yeah, point. Yeah, he would. <laughs> if he found out. He would. Um, we saw the stepmom because I want to bring this up because the last time we saw her, she was explaining or she openly admitted to dad, I faked the bones. The deer bones. Deer bones. That poor deer. That deer's bones were used <laughs> for a fucking lost child that was that was lost. She, but not dead. Not dead. And then she shows up again with that weapon. And they're creating a weapon to kill Batwoman. Do you think the stepmom knows? Like, why I don't would think the stepmom knows who she is? But why? But don't you think the stepmom would tell the dad? Yeah, but I'm guessing they're on the outs at this point. I mean, probably, but I would think that if she knew that Kate was Batwoman, I think she would tell him for sure. I don't think he'd believe her though at this point. You know what I'm saying? Because after what she did. But I don't. I think she needs to tell him. I don't think she'd be able to keep that. Yeah. But it's like we only see her there in that building. We don't, like, it used to be we see scenes of them together. And now we haven't seen that in a couple weeks. Ever since the information dropped. Um, I like the fact that there was actually an underlying story in terms of the executioner was created after 20 years of putting things together and realizing he's potentially executing people that are actually not guilty of what they were put in there for. Yeah. So he puts it all together in a sense. Um, if it was Batman who discovered this, or in this case, Kate, Batwoman, justice would fix it and stop them from doing that. But he took it a step further. I liked his, I liked his outfit. I like the reasoning they gave for why he's doing this and the different ways he's executing them. He's not doing the same type of execution. He was switching it up. Electric chair with electricity and the water and everything for the first guy. And then he, he, he attempted the gas chamber for the last one. And then the second one was firing squad. And that was, that was, that was pretty clever. Cause I don't, I, cause the way I saw him, like, why would the executioner make a call yeah. saying he's barricading, he's got people as hostages? It was all a way to get the guy to come through the door. Um, now, I honestly, for a second, was expecting Sophie not to, is that her name, Sophie? I think so. I think. I'm bad with names. Don't kill me. I thought that when she was there, she was going to accidentally reveal it. And then the stepsister would piece it together. Yeah. Or say something that was too close. But then she, then she makes a point to her saying, well, I mean, this kind of reminds me of what you did to Kate because you act like you guys had nothing in the past. I'm like, getting a, little, getting a little down to the point. Getting a little intense here mentioning that because that's kind of how it feels. It seems like Sophie's on the warpath. She's like, I want to be on special assignment. I want to follow your stepdaughter. Now I want Batwoman. Special assignment. What's that exactly mean? I don't tracking her. I don't know. Um, I, I'm I'm so happy that she has that damn voice modulator. Because if she didn't, the dad would have figured it out. Dad would have figured stepdaughter, <laughs> stepdaughter, stepsister. Everybody would have figured it out. Everybody. Jesus. Um. What about Allison Mouse? So Mouse started to question her loyalty. And question her, uh, her trust, if you will, because he doesn't want to share. And what I, here's what I like: 
He copies that guy's voice to get in the building to get that weapon, but then he calls as Kate. Like, that was... I, at first, I thought it was. But then he started saying things that was a little too much information that how'd she figure this out without us showing us first. Um, and then Mouse was there threatening, and he killed that guy. But it seems that they... Like you mentioned this, because I, I cut recording at the, at the end, but then she turns around to me and goes, Alice can just sit out in the open like that, like, she can just sit out in the open. There's people walking. People walking. Eh. Not my problem. That's probably, what, that's probably what it is. Not my problem. <laughs> if I don't mess with her, she's not going to mess with me. Fingers crossed. Right? Um, I want to talk about the fact they referenced the Joker, Jack Napier. Interesting. I mean, we already got confirmation the Joker exists in the Arrowverse now, but they, they now have said the Joker that's crazy. On Gotham, the got the show Gotham, they could not say Joker. They couldn't say it, but now they can just say the Joker. <laughs> like it's it's pretty bizarre that Gotham couldn't give Cameron Monaghan, which by the way, Cameron Monaghan is like on one of her favorite shows, Shameless. Shameless. She loves that show, and every time I see her, her watching, like, hey, look, it's Joker. But they never called him Joker on the show, but. They could just say the Joker. I don't fucking understand that one bit. Okay. Um, and then they mentioned Lucius Fox is dead. I did not see that coming. I just thought that Lucius was off somewhere and he wasn't in Gotham anymore. He's dead. Unfortunate. And they mentioned the commissioner's name, which obviously I'm referencing stuff that she has no clue. She's just like, huh? But they mentioned a commissioner, but it wasn't Gordon. I'm guessing they're going to finally reveal that maybe Gordon has died. Or maybe he's retired. I don't know. If he's retired and he's not dead, can we bring him in for a special guest appearance or something? That'd be kind of cool, right? Because that's something I was thinking about. When they announced in Else, like when they, before it was called Else Worlds, when they just announced Batwoman and Gotham City coming to the Arrowverse, and then they announced Else Worlds and how it really was a bigger thing than just Gotham. Because I thought the crossover was just going to be Gotham and Batwoman and all that kind of stuff, and it was just a part of it. I'm like, okay, how do you go about not mentioning a lot of things? And they're able to mention a lot of things. They're able to talk about Batman all the fucking time, Joker. And I'm just curious, Gordon is something they need to bring up. Whether he's dead or he's retired. I hope he's retired. And then here's a bigger question. We dive into Gordon. Where's Barbara? Where's Batgirl? Is she Oracle now? Or is she in the wheelchair? I don't know. There's a lot of questions I have, but... I'm liking the name drops, but mainly I'm really digging the, I'm really digging the storylines. And I like the fact that they kind of set up in the last episode where Mouse is like, Mouse and Alice are like, you know, brother, sister, essentially. But then the very next episode, he's questioning her loyalty because he's so used to the, just being them two because he finally had a friend. He doesn't want to share. And clearly she's changing her tune because Kate and everything. So it's curious. I don't, I, did they ever mention how long Alice was active in Gotham before Kate showed up? I don't, I don't think so. I don't think so. But I guess she's been active for a bit. But anyway, so there's the reaction, guys. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm curious, though, what did you guys think of this episode? Let me know in the comment section below, guys. Talk to you guys soon. Peace out.